Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can use stars in Gmail to indicate the priority and importance of emails in your Gmail inbox. Let's get straight into it. So I'm logged into Google and in the Gmail inbox. Gmail offers a basic feature to mark emails as important. You can do this by clicking on the Importance tab whilst you're in the inbox. However, for most inboxes, this doesn't offer enough depth to really help with managing emails. To provide a bit more support, Google introduced stars to Gmail to allow email users to add more complex email markers to the inbox. This helps you identify your important emails and what you need to do with them. The stars feature is managed in the Gmail settings. Let's go to that now. To access that, I'm going to move my mouse to the settings icons cog in the top right of the inbox. If I click on that icon, a panel is opened. I'll then choose the See All Settings link to open the Detail Settings section. We're interested in the General section of Settings, which is the view that loads by default, so there's no need to click on any other sections. You do, however, need to scroll down on this page until you reach the Stars section. By default, the Star feature is set up with only one star. This is indicated by the fact that one star is in the In Use row, but all the other stars are shown as not in use. You can add more alternatives to this, however. Gmail provides a number of presets, which I'll go through first, and then I'll show you what I use, which is slightly different. If I click on the first preset, four stars, that allows you to show up to four indicators, two different colored stars, one tick option, and one high importance exclamation mark. The other preset option allows you to move all the stars into use, which might seem like the best idea, but I find this is too many different indicators to remember. I like to have no more than five stars to manage emails. I'll go back to the one star preset to show you what I use. In addition to the basic yellow star, I like to add one different colored star. I like blue, so I'll choose this star just by clicking and holding my left mouse button and then dragging that star up to the in use row. If I let go of my mouse button whilst in the in use row, it's then added to that section. In addition, I also like to add an indicator to show very high priority email. I'll choose this yellow exclamation mark. I also want to add a marker to those emails I need to respond to. I'll choose this orange arrow indicator to show that. The last star I'll add is the blue information star. This is for those emails that I need to read later when I have time. Now you should choose the star types and colors that work best for you. But once you're happy with your selection, don't forget that in order to confirm those changes, you need to scroll to the bottom of the settings page and click on the save changes button. Your Gmail inbox will then reload. Let's now look at how to use the star indicators. If you want to mark an email as a priority, you can choose one of your star indicators by simply clicking on the empty star on the email row. And if you keep clicking, you'll notice that Gmail just cycles through the star indicators you've set up. Once the indicator you want to use is shown, just stop clicking and Gmail will mark the email with that star. If you want to remove a star that's been added, you just need to click on the existing star and it will be removed. One other tip is that if you select an email, you can use the keyboard shortcut S to quickly cycle through your indicators to add your preferred star. You can then use the arrow keys to move through the other emails in your inbox and quickly add your importance markers to each of them. If you want to review just those emails that you've added a star to, you can do this by choosing the starred folder from the left hand menu. If you want to refine this list even further, and only show those emails with a yellow star, as an example, you can do this by clicking into the search box at the top of the inbox and typing the keyword as yellow star. Don't forget to add the colon after the word has to make sure the search is run correctly. I hope you find this woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.